Hello wonderful friends Welcome once again to another round of a slide cast presentation and uh, I kind of like the uh, comment of one of our visitors Sabi niya, I like your concept, it's in-car seminar Thanks buddy, I will adapt your idea and make it a full-blown program uh, eventually Okay now I would like to share with you the uh, second part of uh, my leadership 2.0 module and I would like to tackle about self-promotion and uh, do we have an alternative in the midst of uh, the sea of competitiveness in order for a brand to keep itself afloat then an intervention of promotion and marketing is needed but if we will apply that in leadership, self-promotion is kind of, you know, you have to strike the balance between tooting your own horn and at the same time pushing your weight around. Thus, this is the common question of aspiring leaders. If they would like to build a community, generate more followers, then is it okay to toot our own horn? Well, the modern concept of personal branding suggests it's okay. But I understand promoting oneself is somehow not right somewhere along the line. And too much of it may eventually backfire and I'll discuss uh, some, some of that uh, in detail later on. So, majority of leaders, if not half, are not comfortable with uh, self-promotion but do we have an alternative you know me and uh, part of my advocacy is uh, to look back at uh, the patterns the spiritual intelligence is about the patterns and recognizing the spiritual and natural laws and learning from them so in this case let's try to look at one of the natural laws and that is buoyant force according to science definition an object will will float okay if the object is less dense than the water or rather the liquid or the weight of the dispensed liquid is heavier than the object okay now uh, can we use this principle on leadership i think so okay so let's try to apply imagine yourself in the midst in the middle of sea of competitiveness then what will keep you afloat so much prom self promotion can backfire okay and actually if we point too much promote too, if we toot our own horn the brand will be heavy enough to sink now how do we keep our brands afloat let's go back to archimedes sabi dito first the object tayo yon should be less than the liquid and the weight of the displaced liquid, tayo yon, if we are top heavy, then the liquid displaced because of, uh, because of us, the object, should be heavier than us. So how do we keep ourselves afloat? Now this is my opinion, okay? Our ability to divert focus away from us, but to the value we add to society, we add to the community, will make us the object less dense and the community the society heavier okay are you following me and if we are top heavy ourselves because of our credentials then we have to make sure we spread ourselves and reach as many people and as add value to as many society and community as we can Thus, the force that will be coming from the society, from the people, is strong enough to push the object up. Now, we will gain free advertising because, number one, the people that benefited from us. And number two, for the observers, they can actually see whether your brand, whether your leadership is actually adding value. Thus their referrals their advertising their promotion about you will keep the brand will keep the leader afloat 
Okay. Now, if as an illustration, just try to look back and reflect with me. Sino po ba yung mga leader na naaalala niyo that they tried to add value to the society and up to now, they are recognized and they are remembered? Try to Google and try to search the internet and try to find out if the principles that we are talking about is uh, kind of correct and true. If you found one, just add a comment below the section whether you read this uh, or you watch this in Facebook, in YouTube, or in one of my blogs. Thank you people once again. I hope this short discussion has added value again to you. Again, there's a limit in tooting our own horns. Yes, sometimes we need to carry our own chair. I agree with that. But too much weight, carrying our weight around may actually backfire. Let's try to learn from Archimedes. Make ourselves less dense and ensure that we add value to the people, to the sea of competitiveness. Therefore, they, the four, they will be the force that will keep the leader or that will keep us successful and succeed. Thank you. Thank you, Sunny, here once again. Mabuhay and God bless.